founder of an organization called the Energy Medicine Exchange. So if you're on Facebook and you're interested in my talk today, then please have a look at this group. Um, I also work um, for an NGO, um, which is a member of the United Nations group. And I serve the foundation of alternative and integrative medicine. But I've spent 20 years at Pune at MIT doing research into biofield science. Next slide. Not so clear my pictures, you can see that one, oh, it's black and white. But anyway, this is three different ways of looking at an orange, okay, the fruit. And in modern um, four states of matter, solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. So this is not being well understood by modern science, but it's a very significant part and aspect of the human being. Next slide. And so what we're proposing is that the human body is not just up to the skin. We have an atmosphere, very much like the planet has an atmosphere. Next slide. And in fact, we have to rely on different sources for this information. Here we can see the human body, but here we can also see these energy centers and even uh, what we call marma points. Now this word marma is from South India and it refers to certain points on the body surface. Next slide. So all traditions have an understanding of this field, what I'm speaking about, but scientists have had to wait for an industrial age, a technology age, and now super technology, fast computerized, I use nonlinear programming, to measure and image what until recently has been invisible. But we've known about it. Next slide. Um, when we go to the work of the Rishis, we realize these are these are maps and the number of petals on each chakra, what they call these. But if we don't address this issue, then it becomes disease. That's why this is a predictive imaging technology. Next slide. It's a live system, and so we can even observe when individuals are treating someone correctly. Is someone's uh, psychological problem treated correctly with allopathic medicine? Or is it better to use different therapies? This is what we're discovering. Next slide. The science behind this field is very strong, and yet I'm always surprised when I come to institutes in India that they're not honoring this ancient knowledge which is in the treasure chest. But I'm hoping my presentation inspires you, because what we're seeing here is the biophotons leaking from the smoker's fingers. When you're smoking, this chemical is damaging the very subtle etheric membrane. And so we can see these biophotons leaking out. Next slide. Why that's significant, of course, is because we're beginning to understand the biofield has different layers. In my technology, we can see these, what we call nadis, in the Vedic science, we have 72,000 diagnosis from the doctor. He says there's nothing wrong with your knees, but with the biofield imaging, we can see these early warning congestions, which may be caused by something like a lack of grounding. And if we don't understand what is grounding, then we have to go back. Next slide. So this is another machine which shows what is a marma point. So we've now moved from this conceptual Siddic, Yunani, Ayurvedic science to technology which is sensitive enough to measure what is, as I said, thousands of years old Indian knowledge. And it's interesting that Indian government 10 years ago was spending 97% of its funding on allopathic medicine and only 3% on Ayush. So it's actually up to young students like you to show initiative in driving what is the healthcare vision. We should integrate this knowledge, should integrate it, otherwise you're missing an opportunity. Again, you can see this is a, a, one of these 72,000 channels. Up till day, you thought they were maybe energy channels or they didn't exist, but when we inject a very special dye, we can see these channels permeate the entire body like a three-dimensional spider's web. 
And in fact, it's called the primovascular system because it forms before all other vascularization in the body, in the embryo. Next slide. And they're very tiny. These are very tiny fibers identify these fibers. But they are associated with the spread of cancer. And there's a very, very important lesson for us to the body, which is not like the old-fashioned copper wire, a synapse switch, the fan comes on. This is super fast. This is our first relay system. Next slide. So over the years, various uh, scientists have looked at the biofield, what is my subject. Uh, Valerie Hunt did a study measuring the chakras in the 70s at University of California, Los Angeles. Next slide. Uh, we recently repeated the study that was done in Kaivalya Dam, measuring the chakras of Arishi and inspiring him, next slide, from this baseline, we have seven channels, one on each chakra. This is calm, navigated information. For example, when I see patterns on somebody's chest area, it always relates to grief or sadness. Next slide. And all of the different traditions of all the different modalities speak to the same thing. Next slide. So when we see somebody's biofield, we know exactly what this information means. Like for example, this fellow has a very beautiful brow chakra, so he's very intuitive. He has some blue, beautiful blue color in his vishuddhi, as he's supposed to. But there's some congestion there. And that's because although he speaks his truth, he doesn't get heard in his office place. So very subtle things can affect our well-being. And when we have a technology like this, we can really assess the emotional aspect, the spiritual aspect, as well as the physical aspect. Next slide. This is a healthy boy as a baseline. Next slide. And this lady, you see, has a lot of pooling and, and uh, congestion in her midriff. This is the region we associate with family. So if anyone has digestion problems or any kind of digestion issues, it always relates to the family. If there's an upset in the family, we'll get digestion problems. Unfortunately, modern medicine too often gives us a pill. They don't say, how's your family like? This is what we call uh, integration, integrative healthcare. Next slide. And this is a lady who's chronically sick. Journey. When we find someone, this is like an urban young lady with all the congestion of living in the city life, but with yoga and meditation and some energy medicine like EFT, she can transform herself. And this is everybody's right, is to transform themselves. Next slide. And it happens with everybody. You just have to the family, the relationship. And that's why this chakra is always about relationships. 3D in here, no? We're talking 3D in this room. So I'm only talking about what's on a piece of paper. But now we start talking about 3 time. Yeah? This is to do with the heartbeat. The heart gives time. The heart beats and these will go to keep me in my place. This ball is spinning at a thousand miles an hour. Swati, Ganpati, Shiva, what we have as images. This is a divine expression. Now, you would agree with you, me, ma'am, that many times people have... Yeah? Well, just imagine this spark is a lot bigger than you, and that's about right. Because we are all divine beings, but we've been closed down a little bit to become a human doings. And India is the nation of waking up human doings to become human beings. And this is why Swamiji is rebuilding the temple.